Where the fresh river meets the salt of the sound, that's where you'll find the Sabre Point Inn and their new restaurant, Fresh Salt. Mitch Marin is the general manager and the director of food and beverage, and he's joined by executive chef Carlos Casar. Welcome, gentlemen, to Connecticut Style. Thank you, Thank you for nice having us. Nice to have you here. So we're talking about a grand opening. Always an exciting time. Well, it's a particularly exciting time for, for the inn. Uh, fresh Salt will be opening uh, Thursday night, May 12th. And uh, we're just delighted, we're thrilled, and uh, we think we've got an excellent concept and one that uh, the community is going to embrace. Now, Chef, a lot of the ingredients are locally grown. Yes. And so with uh, some of the items on the menu also? Yes, uh, as much as we can, we try to support our local farms. And uh, you'll be surprised how much we do actually grow in Connecticut. So you know, we try to encourage that. What can we find on the menu? What type of food is it? Uh, well, it's a simpler approach to food, you know, we, it's fresh salt, uh, so we've taken a simpler, fresh approach, uh, you know, simplicity but good. Okay. Uh, so that sounds great. What are we making today? Uh, today we have some uh, scallops uh, from Stonington, Connecticut, which is uh, one of the last uh, fishing fleets in Connecticut. Oh, okay. And um, I gathered some uh, baby beets, some baby carrots. Uh, All the vegetables are baby. Yes, How cute they, that is. That's <laughs> what I, I run that. into at the uh, farmers market. So okay, great. And they all from uh, Connecticut. Yeah, so that's a great part about it. So I'm making a pesto made of gar uh, barley. Okay. And I'm calling it a pesto soil to make it look like a farm plate kind of thing. Oh, sure. And some shaped mango. So, you know, we, we'll let's have a little Let's get started. Fun. Let's make the pesto. Are right, you going to help it. us? Uh, if Chef would like <laughs> me to help, it is absolutely my yeah, pleasure. So, all we need is um, one uh, cup cook of uh, cooked barley okay. that I'm already cooking. So we're just going to mix all of this together. This is a very simple, nice dish and healthy. Great. We have some seeds instead of pine nuts. Oh, like sunflower or pumpkin? Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin, okay. Uh, we have some parsley. You need the parsley always in there. Garlic, tons of garlic. <laughs> and you put the and whole garlic in there? You don't yeah. have to press it or anything? We're going to put it through a food processor. Oh, so. gotcha, okay. And then we have balsamic glaze. This will give it a darker color. So balsamic glaze. And this is tamarind paste. Okay. Tamarind is a tropical fruit for those of who doesn't know what, the, what it is. I didn't know what it was. So That's then exciting. we're going to, that will give it a darker color. And tamarind is a little tangy. Okay. So it will go great with the vegetables uh, that are a little pickled. So great. we have all of this together. We have our oil. And then we're going to put all of this in the food processor for okay. about a minute. So that's gonna be that's gonna be the sauce that the scallops are. Yes, in. it's okay. like a pesto starch thing. Got it. And this is what it will look like. So it's oh, darker in color, yeah. so it's like soil. Usually when you think of pesto, it's green. But yeah, but this time I wanted to make it look like the soil from it. the farm. Yeah. Makes sense. And then we have our scallops that we season with a sea salt from the Himalayas. Ooh. So that will give it a really really nice flavor. Chef, you're going to put that in the frying pan, correct? Yes. Those scallops? All yes, right, while we're you do that. Sear them, yes. All right, while you do that, Mitch, I want to ask you uh, tell me why folks are going to want to check out the new restaurant. Well, we have an oyster bar component, Ooh, so we've got. That's my favorite. Is that right? <laughs> so we've got four flavors of oysters that'll be offered daily. Great. Always a cherry stone and a little neck. Gorgeous North American shrimp. And you got to have some main lobster tails as well. So that's part of the raw bar component. Great. There are. A, a series of handcrafted cocktails and we've also put together an oyster wine list where we've picked five or six really fun different grape varietals that are excellent uh, accompaniments to enjoy with our fresh oysters. That's terrific. Do you do happy hour specials and uh, that uh, we're going to be start yeah, we're going to have some happy hour specials that are going to start next week where we'll do dollar 50 oysters and 250 shrimp and some different wine specials and beer specials and drink specials. So we Super. we really are putting the emphasis on fun. Oh, well, that's important, I and think, with a new restaurant. For it sure. is, and it's a little bit more relaxed in atmosphere. Uh, the tablecloths are gone. They're gorgeous wood tables that just overlook the views of the, the river and the Long Island Sound. Oh, fantastic. And we think it's just uh, going to be a fabulous way for uh, local people and hotel guests yeah. to enjoy uh, the history of Old Sabre. Well, I think everyone likes to be outside on the water, too, oh so you gosh. really can't beat the location. Especially with the winter we had. Absolutely. Now, Chef, what are you doing here? I see some pesto down, and so, what do we have? What so what veggies? we have is our vegetables from the farm, so you can use anything you like. You can use beets, uh, radishes, zucchinis, uh, mm -hmm. anything else, you know. 
So what I did, you boil them first or roast them, however you like. Okay. Um, and then I put in a pan some apple vinegar. Oh, okay. With a little sugar. Because what we're going to do, we're going to pickle them a little. Right. Uh, like a quick pickle, that's what I call it. So once that comes to a boil, we have our vegetables and we're going to soak them in the vinegar for a little bit. Okay. You're going to get a little tart flavor. Yeah, right? you want a tart? little, you know, and then the tanginess from the tamarind. So I made a pesto. Uh, see, I'm trying to make it look like a farm, the soil. Yeah, so. I think you accomplished that. Let me ask you, how long do the scallops need to cook for? Well, one... You need your pan to be really, really hot. Okay. And then one minute on each side. You want them seared, that's it. Okay. You don't want them cooked all the way. And Well, of course, you know, if you like that way, you can. So all we do is just arrange our vegetables around the plate, just um, once they pickled. Awfully pretty, Chef. Thank you. <laughs> it's really like a work of art. Thank you. It is a really simple dish, you know. And, I mean, everything is right here, except for the mango. I just wanted to... So I also have some uh, squash blossom flowers that you can also soak in the vinegar. Pickle them. <laughs> like quick pickled. Okay. So we're just throwing that for color. I mean, there's tons of this right now. All right, we have a little less than a minute left, but I noticed that we have some scallops that are already done. Yes. So once you have all your stuff ready, we're just going to arrange them like this. And we can really pull this at home and impress the friends over, you know. Oh, it's beautiful. So just put it there. We have some garnish of uh, spinach that I made into rounds. So what we're looking at is just simple dishes, you know, that Chef, can be great. this might be too pretty to eat. No, 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 That's no. lovely. You know, we are going to taste this at the end of the show. Can you both stick around? Well, of course. Yeah. It would be our pleasure. All then right, we... fantastic. We'll have some more scallops. So all the information is up on your screen there. The grand opening is on May 12th. That's the Thursday. And then if you want the recipe, you can also find that on our website, WTNH.com. Coming up next, we'll put the spotlight on family care visiting nurse and home care. That's when we return. Don't go anywhere.